say hi from Charish Math. Here is the question. In each of the following diagrams, calculate the perimeter in cm of the shaded region. By looking at this diagram A, I get to know that for the length of this BD is equivalent to the length of the AC, which is at 5 cm. I need to find for what is the perimeter of the shaded region, where I'm going to label in the green color. And now, here is the question A working on it. I'm going to find for what is the length of the arc CD, which is on the outer part here, plus the arc AB. And I need to add up AC and the BD. I'm now going to work out the length of the arc CD, and that is by using 110 degrees over 180 degrees times pi radian times 9. I got the value 9 here is from 5 plus the 4 cm. Now, for the arc AB, that is going to be the same angle 110 divided by 180 times pi radian times 4. I got a 4 here is because OA is at 4 cm. Now, for the AC plus BD, that is going to be 5 plus 5. To find the value of each part, arc CD is going to be 17.28, while for the arc AB, that is 7.68. AC plus the BD, which is 5 plus 5, I'm going to get 10. Sum up this, the value that I'm getting here is 34.96 cm. This is the parameter of the question 1a. For the question in the part b, I need to find the parameter of this shaded region. That means I'm going to label in the blue color I, and I need to find for what is the parameter. In the measurement here, for the length of AC is same as the BD, that is 1. And for the length of CD, for the arc CD, it is at 3 cm. The only part that we need to find here is for the arc of AB. To find for what is the value of the arc AB, we first need to find for what is the value of this theta in radian. And here it goes for the working of the question in the part B. And I'm going to get 3 as the arc of the CD. And that is the result of theta multiplied by the length of OD. In our case here, that would be 3 plus 1. And now, the theta that I'm going to get here is 0 0.75 radian. I'm going to use this angle in radians to find for what is the arc length of this AB. And that is going to be arc AB is equal 0 0.75 times 3. And 3 stands for the length of the AB, which is the radius of a circle that is smaller than OD. And the answer for the RAB that I'm getting here is 2.25. It's time to find the perimeter, which I'm going to add up with 3, with 1, 1, and 2.25. That is going to get 7.25 cm as the entire perimeter for this a, B, D, C. For the solution of the question in the part C, the first thing to do, I need to find for what is the angle of this part that I'm going to label with alpha. And the solution is by using supplementary angles in this OAC, this triangle OAC. That would be for the angle of AOC, which is alpha, alpha is going to get by using the pi radians minus, this is at the right angle, that is one half of pi radians minus 0 0.5 radians given here. The answer for the alpha that I'm going to get here is 1.07 radians as our calculation. In order to find for what is the value of the arc AB, I'm going to use 
10 times 1.07 and the value I'm getting here is 10.7 that is the length for the R of AB and the next part is I need to find for what is the value of the AC which is the length at the horizontal part that I'm pointing here that is by using tan 1.07 radians and that is equal by AC divided by tan AC I'm getting here is 18.27 as the length. To find out for what is the length of this line BC, that is by using the entire length of OC, which is this one that I'm pointing here, minus the radius OB. OC minus OB. And to find for what is the length of OC here, that is by using the trigonometric. And again, by using the same triangle OAC, I'm going to use cos 1.07 radians. That is equal 10 divided by OC. And the length of the OC is going to be 20.83. I can now find the length of the BC by using this equation that I have worked out earlier. So the line of the BC is going to be the length of OC is 20.83 and the length of OB is going to be 10. The value of the BC I'm getting here is 10.83. For the parameter of the shaded region, I will have to add up this value, this value, and this value. I'm going to highlight the three values to be added up in order to produce the parameter of this shaded region. And that is 10.7, add with 18.27, and add with this 10.83. So the parameter that I'm getting here is by summing up all three of this, I'm going to get 39.8 cm as the parameter for the shaded region. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe.